Attention, Earth scum! It's me, Soulborn Destructo, enemy of Guar! And I will be hacking violently into the House of Masks Instagram live stream on Sunday the 29th at 7 p.m. Eastern Time. Make sure you mark it on your calendar. Make sure you're there. Make sure you tune in to see if AJ can survive the violent hacking. <laughs> What is going on ladies and gentlemen, AJ Good here at the House of Masks where we unbox and review cool shit almost every single day and wow do we have some cool shit to unbox today. First we're going to get into a package from my buddy Jimmy Theodo aka Museum of Random. I'm sure that if you guys are familiar with my videos you've heard that name before. He has sent me some stickers here that actually go right along with what we're unboxing today and I figured why wait until Mailbox Monday. Let's go ahead and do these things now so that is what we are going to do. I really hope that you guys are all safe and sound during this whole Guarona virus thing that's going on. I hope that you guys are self-quarantining and just really taking care of yourselves because uh, I want this shit to be over with as soon as possible and the only way that that's going to be is if we stop the sickness. Oh, ah, ah, ah. Now there are things that you can do while you are quarantined and one of those things is to watch my videos and subscribe to my channel. I know that stuff like this is making my quarantine a little easier to get through. So first up we've got a pack of stickers here from Jimmy. We've got the, man I'm throwing them everywhere. We've got the Guar Peppa Pig mashup. Here we've got Odorous, we've got Beefcake, we've got Jizmac, another Jizmac, we've got Pustulus, and we have Ball Sack, and then he also threw in a couple of his own little Krusty the Clown West G mashup logo stickers, so there's that. We've got a note here that says, Guar Peppa Pig sets are $20 shipped, free two hollow gabos while supplies last, so if you guys are interested in the set that I just showed you, 20 bucks for all of them. Outdoor vinyl, really nice stuff. You can stick them on your cars and they're not gonna deteriorate. This is the shit and you are supporting an artist during this pandemic. So I am going to be dropping Jimmy's information down below. Make sure to go check him out. He is a good friend of mine and an all around good dude. With that being said, let's go ahead and get on into today's main package. This may be the biggest score I've ever scored. And the coolest thing about that is, this is only one half of the package that I received today. So this is going to be box number one, and then clearly we're gonna film another video, and that will be box number two. They both contain probably the coolest shit that I own. So, without further ado, let's not waste any more time. Let's get on into this package. This is from my buddy Sean Hosel, who I have been trying to uh, get this stuff off of for a very, very long time. It's kind of bounced back and forth between owners but I think it finally found its forever home here. And uh, man, I can't fucking wait. This is a uh, dream come true type shit right here. So, all right, where do I start? Um, I'm afraid that I'm going to have to set this on the ground. I threw it on the ground. So it might not be the funnest unboxing to watch but there's just uh, big items in here that I'm gonna have to pull out and I want you guys to be able to clearly see those. So yeah, I'm gonna move this little stand and I'm gonna set this on the ground and I'll just pull stuff out one by one. All right, so first up, good Lord, this thing is heavy as shit, no joke. We've got the stage used Jizz Mac de Gusha shoulder and chest plates from the 90s. So anything that you saw on Ragnarok, Carnival of Chaos, all the way up to Violence Has Arrived would have been this chest plate. And that is pretty surreal. And I can't even fully uh, look at it. So that's the back there. Gotta flip it around so you guys can see the front. There is the front. And man, this is so fucking heavy. I don't know why I thought that it was going to be lighter than this, but it is just no joke foam covered with latex. Uh, about as crude as it gets, and uh, you know, I thought it was going to be rough. It's, it's actually in pretty good shape for what it is. There are some rotting things on there, but that's to be expected with something that's way over 20 years old and was used so heavily for so long. So I'm going to set that guy to the side. I'll show you guys everything up close and in detail here shortly, and we will move on to some of the other items in the box. All right, so this is actually the last piece to this set, and that's okay, because he actually used the stuff that was in the other box for this set as well, all the way through War Party, just kept reusing stuff. But this piece that's in the bag right here is the one that I am absolutely the most excited to see. I know I probably should have went ahead and did the first box first, 
but I really, really, really wanted to see this, and I am very, very excited. So, without further ado, probably the coolest Guar piece in my collection, at least in my opinion, the stage-used 90s Jismac Degusha mask, and holy shit, dude, I can't believe I finally own this. I've been after this thing for so long, and never, ever in a million years thought that I would be able to acquire it and own it, and it's here now, and what a cool design. This is before they went full-on wolf face, dog jackal face thing, so it was still kind of a jackal, but it still kind of looked like the old weird bat creature, like with the raised eyebrows and stuff. I don't know if you guys remember what Jismac looked like during Scum Dogs, but this was the next look, and it was kind of a hybrid between the weird bat jaw face mouth thing and the dog, and uh, it is hands down one of my favorite looks. So this was used on fucking everything. It was on We Kill Everything, Carnival of Chaos, Ragnarok, just solid shit, just really, really cool pieces of Guar history, and uh, really weird times in Guar's career, and uh, I own it, so I just don't even know what to say. I don't even know what to say. There it is. It's here. It's fucking beautiful. I am so happy, and I can't thank Sean enough for selling me this stuff. Holy crap. So now I've got the full 90s get up, and you guys will see what's in the package tomorrow. Unfortunately, you do have to wait for tomorrow's video, so I do apologize, but it'll be worth it, I promise. I actually don't have any displays to put these on because the whole Guarona virus has obviously started shutting down a lot of stuff, and uh, Amazon doesn't think that those displays are essential, so they're not going to send them to me until this thing is over, but when they are, we will get all of these guys on display, and it will be fucking fantastic. And I actually shouldn't say any more until the next video, that way you guys know exactly what I'm talking talking about, so 90s Jismac mask, 90s Jismac chest plate, and uh, yeah, I am fucking stoked, beyond happy, this is a, truly a collector's high, so I'm actually going to take some time to myself real quick to look at this thing. Oh, what you look at this? And I'm going to leave you guys with some nice up-close shots of this stuff. So I hope that you guys have enjoyed this video. Hopefully it's making your quarantine a little more enjoyable. I have been trying to stay relevant, keep posting stuff, even though it's not necessarily unboxings and stuff. I mean, clearly this is, but I also did some prediction videos and some different reviews and stuff like that. And I hope that you guys are enjoying it. And uh, I'm really trying. You know, it's hard out here for everybody, but... I'm really trying to crank stuff out and not lose my momentum here, so I appreciate you guys for watching and spending that time with me. Thank you very much, and I hope that you guys have enjoyed this video. So, this has been AJ Good at the House of Masks telling you to say no to drugs and alcohol, and until next time, we will see you guys later.